If only it was a true hot hatch. Kia never used to be known for making performance-focused sports cars, but that all changed with the launch of the Sublime Stinger ever since it was revealed last year. Lately, the Korean manufacturer has been spicing up some of its more sedate cars like the Sportage, Sorento, Picanto, and see it with its GT line specification. Due to be revealed at the Geneva Motor Show in March, the latest model to get the GT line treatment is the with a raft of new exterior touches that give the sensible Super Mini a sportier look. Among the Kia Rio GT line's new sporty design features include a gloss black and chrome grille, unique GT line 17-inch alloy wheels, and LED fog lamps echoing the Sia GT and Pro Sia GT. Adding to the Super Mini's sportier appearance are twin exhaust tips, LED daytime running lights, chrome window trim, a gloss black roof spoiler, and sill highlights. Inside, the Rio GT features a combination of black synthetic leather and cloth upholstery with grey stitching, a flat-bottom leather steering wheel, and metallic trim on the door switches, and gear lever complemented with a carbon fiber effect finish on the dashboard. Sadly, the lack of performance upgrades means the Kia Rio GT line isn't a true hot hatch. Like the standard car, the Kia Rio is offered with a 1.0-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine mated to a six-speed manual delivering 118 horsepower. Alternatively, the sporty-looking Super Mini will also be offered with 1.25 or 1. Four liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engines mated to a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Who knows, maybe one day Kia will follow the lead of Hyundai's new end performance division and make a true hot hatch like the high performance. No word on a US launch yet but Kia says the Rio GT line will be available in Europe this spring, 